I am a very serious and competitive horseback rider. In fact, there's a picture of me at the National Dressage Championships a few years ago, having a great time in the award ceremony. I'm also a divorce lawyer and have been in New York City and New York State for over 30 years. And it's only recently that these two worlds have come together for me because some of my horse friends have asked me about their divorce situation. And it's a really interesting thing. When you are divorcing and you have horses, there are two things that you really need to consider. One is, of course, the value of the animal. And it can be a really contentious point as to how to value it, who should end up with the with the with that asset, uh, but it's also a relationship and a partnership. And it's also expensive, that's the third thing. And so it's really interesting when we're getting divorced and we've got horses, how to A, make sure that the person who loves and has the relationship with the animal ends up with the value at not too much cost to them, that the relationship is maintained and that the sport gets to continue going forward and that we figure out a way to maintain that expense because we all know it's not, it's a lot of money, but it's for something that we really care about and we're really invested in. I've written a blog post about this and I would like for you to read it if you're interested. If you want to click on the link below, I'll send it right over to you. And if you've got any questions, of course, about divorce and horses, we'd be happy to chat with you. Thanks for listening.